following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Now, Basil Chapman. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Tuesday, the night of the, uh, what is the 17th of September, and we're looking at the Dow up 102 at 41,723. This is really important because I discussed this whole aspect. I don't want to go over it too much right now, other than to say, look, the pattern that I all I have to do now is follow the pattern. I, I can have notations for the Chapman Wave methodology, I can have a whole bunch of things, but that nine period moving average holding above the 14 is absolutely key right here, and that's where it is. So what I did is I took this phantom peak that was right here around about the 18th of August where there were two parallel highs where the, the second high was just fractionally higher as a phantom peak. And I said, well, that prepared us at 41,585 on the 29th of August for some kind of a pullback. I had initially, um, I think around about the 9th, I had put a down arrow, and then I said, no, I can't do that. Every time I've done it, I've had to take it away. And the whole thing about the Chapman Wave methodology is that you want to update all the notations prior so that even if there was a notation that had some a different letter, you want to correct it to what's happened. And it's, it's not as if you are um, changing things and... Uh, to to form fit, what you're doing is you're trying to correct a notation that was has now looked obviously wrong or had an alternate count and it's got the new count. So what I'd said is I'm calling that a phantom peak and that takes me to a D to be prepared for some kind of a sharp pullback. Well, we got that. And then I said, if there is a new high, we have no choice but to consider that I, I take that phantom peak, I place on the proper peak, and the next one goes to C, and the following high, which we've just we made yesterday and we're following up today, is the official leg D. So we've accomplished the buy signal goes to at least a buy mode um, and then takes you to a D. And now other things can happen. That's the rule. In the Chapman Wave, this is a method that um, never sleeps. The Chapman Wave never sleeps. Every notation on the upside or the downside gets a letter. But... What's really important is it takes you from a starting point to a buy signal that gets upgraded to a buy mode should take you to at least four higher peaks. Peak A is first, peak B is second, peak C is third, peak D is fourth. It can go E, F, and G, or it can recycle to an instant restart. We don't know until it happens. Well, here we are in leg D. It says right at this moment, you've got to be prepared for anything. But you use your indicators. We haven't got any shorts. We're still long. We're long the three times long UDRW. We're long the diamonds. We've got long positions, and they're working out very nicely. And where are we in the weekly chart? We have begun the leg D, going towards this inside track repellent zone right there this week, <clears throat> 41,900. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Let me just have a sip of tea. Forty-one thousand nine hundred is the lower pink uh, up channel, little mini up channel resistance, and then the next one is right there at forty-two thousand one hundred and fifty. All right, it goes higher every week because the weekly chart with a rising trend line. The monthly chart has gone to a leg E. Now the high of this, <coughs> excuse me, the high of this leg E the greater the chances are that it goes to an F and a G and then it pulls back and at some point it'll then go to a D. That's the scenario we've just seen right here. However, in an instant restart, there's a chance that if it makes a very high leg E, I, I'm going to have to show this just for a moment because this is a technique that I've been discussing. I said I'll show you this live if it works out, SOLV. Uh, Solventum Corporation, 
made an instant restart, was right on the 200 period moving average, even at a round number 65 high. And then what it did do, it had one bar lower, and the second bar made a new recovery high. That became E slash A. I've just got this as an E right now because the higher this leg E goes, the greater the chances are that it's only going to go to a G before it has a big pullback, and then it can go to the D. But uh, instant restart going immediately A to B to C to D. I, this is where it differs. And look at the stochastic here at 95%, and the MACD is expanding. The 90 is way over the 4. It looks very good. I, I don't want to do this. I'm just doing the daily chart to show you that we were going to do this live. And now this instant restart is not the usual kind of instant restart. Let's go back to what we were looking at. We were looking at the Dow um, going to the uh, resistance, the monthly chart leg E, stochastics at 93%. That's fabulous on balance volume, a little bit overbought. Weekly chart stochastic at 85%. Um, and the on balance volume very uh, a little bit overbought. MACD is just starting to rise now. Nine's over the 40. All of this is really positive action. Let's go to the S&P. Oh, now this is what's very important. Look, here's the S&P, cash index, S&P, gone to a higher high. It's gone to 56.65.45. If it takes out 56.69.67 before the Fed meeting tomorrow, that's gone to an all-time high. And then I've got to say, oh, there's your peak C1, C2, which very often does go to the D. Then you've got to be a little bit careful. Well, it's either a D or a brand new A. I don't want to make this complicated because it's a very simple technique. If you want to make it complicated, you can go nuts. But look at this. The SPY, thank you, Jeff, and the uh, Tiger YouTube, has just made an all-time high. It made that peak D. It did have a, a sharp pullback. There I had, there's no reason why I shouldn't have had that down arrow because it went sharply for a number of bars under the nine period moving average, which was pink. And technically, this could be a brand, oh my goodness, this could be, I'm just putting a little plus sign here for the moment. This could be a brand new, I, I don't want to get carried away. It's a fabulous action. The technicals are all very strong. Weekly chart, is this a brand new B? I, I, I don't want to make it complicated. I'm calling it for now F slash B. And the monthly chart has gone to an F. Look at the S, P, uh, LV. This is the low volatility. This has gone, whoops, I typed it into the wrong place. Let me type it in here. SPLV. So for those people who are calling for crashes or anything like that, I can see a pullback. I can see a digestive phase. But, I mean, leg C in the monthly chart says it should still go to higher highs in 2024. This is the S&P Low Volatility Fund. It already made a new all-time high yesterday. Today it's pulling back a little bit. It's fascinating how it isn't agreeing 100% yet. And look at this monthly chart. There's an instant restart with a very nominal E that should be E slash A, F slash B. And we've got G slash C in the weekly chart. That is formal. There's nothing there to change. And look here. This is the SP. Is it the SP? LV, I did that. SP. Oh, YV. Look at that. SPYB is the value, 500 value, making a new all-time high as we speak right now. Um, there's your leg. Same thing, instant restart in the weekly chart. Wow, is this going to be an interesting close of the month, September? What a fascinating chart. We'll be back. I was up 105, 151. We'll be back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, before we go any further, let me just do this. I had a question about a 30-minute chart on uh, Nike. So this is A, B, oops, A, B, C. Underneath it, you had an A. Uh, this is called an overlapping wave, B, C, and a D. So that's gone to an E right there. And here you've got another A, B, C. And there are no other technicals than the moving averages, two moving averages right here. D, that's what I get, uh, uh, Dan. Uh, so as it stands right now, I think there's still strength in uh, Nike. I would wait a little while. So you get better risk reward if you're looking to short, just if you've done the homework and you say that that's what you're looking for. I don't see anything right now. I think this is uh, maybe sometime tomorrow you could do that uh, or you could just start an initiation. And if you're using options, then I would do it in such a way that you're doing it in steps so that you have a choice to cover uh, at any point uh, for a minimal loss if you're wrong. But right now, I see this as a bounce in uh, Nike. And uh, just that's what I'm looking at. ESZ24, uh, another question, I think, about the... Uh, okay, so look, this is an A. This is now Nike. Um, and all I've got, I've got here a relative strength index. I have all sorts of uh, indices, uh, indicators on the different charts. I always experiment with them. Different people uh, use this. Uh, John uh, in the den uses this. So I thought I, I, I've used this for years and years and years. Retro strength, I have it on all my charts. He uses it in a different way. And I seem to get different numbers. So that's one of the things that happens. That it's the starting point for the actual turn. So this is an F right now. It could be an instant restart on the, uh, no, it couldn't be, uh, on the, uh, 30-minute uh, chart. So it says, just be careful. Might see a little bit of a pullback here. Peak C1, C2 in the one-minute chart. But, oh, let me talk about this. This is a brand new, this is a leg in the in the five-minute chart. If it if a buy signal takes out, the, after it completes its move, if it takes out on a pullback, the low that was made that was the starting point, in this case, in the e, uh, ESZ, 
that was at 57.11.50.50 um, at 7.40 this morning. The low that was made uh, just before the 10 o'clock, uh, whatever economic news came out, that was 57.11.25. So this has to be considered a brand new leg A to the upside. A, but it could be a single. We've seen a number of single leg A Eiffel Tower failures at this point. So all I'm saying uh, in this particular case, that's an A in the 10-minute um, chart. I'm calling it an F. All right, just now I can go back to our story. So the story right now is, uh, let me go back to the QQQ. Uh, this is in a, a brand new leg B, gray leg B, because it's under the previous peak B, which didn't fail, but it did pull back sharply. But that's under the 503.52 July the 10th high um, at a peak F right here in the uh, Chapman Wave methodology. And we've pulled back and we're making lower lows and lower highs up until this move that started around about the 8th, 7th or so of September. So this is gray A. Great because it's under the previous peak and the stochastic um, has only just gone to 79. It's nearly close to 80%, which would be a good sign. B, if this goes over that previous high, whatever this peak is, it's going to go to maybe a leg C. It could even be a D if it's in a few days' time. In the meantime, the Qs are stuck in the middle of a range, not, not breaking down, not breaking out, but holding pretty well, steady in the middle part of the range, unlike the others which have gone to higher highs. But the SMH is the clue, because look, the SMHs are stalling here, up $1.45 at 235.28, just like the Qs, they're stalling. Um, now I can do this. What I like to do, you remember I'm always saying, correct your Chapman Wave methodology as it moves along, using the same principles, but using new information. New information says, I don't need to use this uh, falling ax down trend line anymore. I can now go to that one right there. It just puts me right in the spot at this particular moment. Okay, so that says mm, it's not doing that great. Semis should be leading. They're not. They're stalling. Uh, just keep that in mind. This is a very now a very diverse market with a Dow 30 actually leading. It's very interesting. It happens uh, throughout the year. It's happened periodically, and then the others take over and the Dow stalls. Let's go to the IWM. Where is that right now? Is that up three? Yes, it's up 3.07. At 220.67. So this is saying some co comments in, uh, in both in the den, <clears throat> Tiger Den, as well as uh, in the uh, YouTube. And I, I have to respect these comments. And the comments are basically saying that the Russell 2000 moving higher might be suggesting that the Fed. Um, it's anticipating a Fed move. I like to look at it a little differently and say, yeah, that could be a possibility. But that's speculation because it's just anticipating something. But what really has to happen is I prefer to say if the such and such does such and such, then you have whatever, whatever the status is. And all I can say is that if the IWM on Friday at 4 o'clock, it doesn't matter if it closes there, has hit 225.50, I'd like to get into the 25s. That says there's a really good chance that the 228.63 high of the uh, 7th of, oh, I wrote that incorrectly. That was the, wasn't that August? Uh, 731, oh, that was silly. I wrote it in the old English way. It's not 31.7, it's 7.31. All right, uh, on the uh, 31st of July, should get tested. If it gets tested, that makes that monthly chart, and especially if this candle right here, let me show you this monthly candle, the IWM. I'm taking a little time here. I know there were a lot of stocks that people want to look at, but really, it's important to look at the chart, the, the major indices, and to say, if such and such happens, because we have a lot of folks I, I've read a lot about this, talking about the, the whole negative side of the market right now, <clears throat> and that recessions invariably pro produce um, very sharp declines. Now, my rule of thumb for decades, not just 10 or 20, I'm talking about decades, is that 
the moment that the the official announcement from the administration says reluctantly that we're in a recession, that's the very moment that the market takes off and starts its big move to the upside. Now, this is completely different. The market is, as we're speaking, at a highs, all-time highs in different key indices. So I don't know what can happen here. This is very different. Now, if you're looking at, like Larry likes to, I've done this for years and years, but Larry has a particular name for this, that when you have the number of bars in, in a U-shaped pattern that goes to a W, and you retest or an M, and, and uh, you get three, um, three spaces that are measured, a measured move, that you get a reversal. This is a slightly different one because you've broken this downtrend line, the falling X decline. I'll be back in a moment. Basil Chapman, uh, Dow's up 184, S&P's up 32. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. I just want to 
go through this because it's part of the chat wave notation. So the question was, why did I not keep this as a G right here? So let me show you. I'm going to make this. Let me just type one letter here, and then I'm going to make it nice and big. Uh, so I'm going to type this in, whoops, uh, right there. Okay, make that an A, and I will make this much bigger. Let's make it 22 pica size, and style I'll make it uh, red, just so I'll make it pink. Okay, set as default. Set as default. I don't usually like to do this, but I need to explain something. So look, in the channel wave methodology, each peak from the low bar gets counted. So this becomes an A, and then this one penny, in this case one penny, because it's, it's, a, it's a symbol, a uh, stock symbol, goes leg B, leg B, leg B, peak B, because it made a peak. And then one penny above this starts leg C. Then it stalls and has a big pullback. But if you were going to do this, look, you could go A, B, oops, uppercase, right? Oh, too many hands. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. Why am I doing this? Okay, there it is. Okay. So that's going to be an uppercase B because on the way, oh, come on. Now, what do I do? Why, why am I just getting stalled here? Okay, uppercase, there we go, B. Get rid of that. Okay, B, C, D. Look, nothing, 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 nothing. That becomes a peak D. Oh, why is it? Oh, I have to press the button, right? D, uppercase. Then an E. And the question is, why do I not call this a G? Because under it, it's actually an overlapping wave and confirms everything that we're talking about. Under it, I've got, look, a starting point of another, there's your peak C. But under it, it's got what I call a gray A, a gray B, a gray C, and it goes to a D. Now, the only question is, does this become a brand new A, or is it an E? I've called it an E, and then we've got to start A, B, C, D. So we've come to the same conclusion that the buy signal has gone to at least four higher peaks. In this case, it went to seven higher peaks. But this is where something else can happen. So I, I don't disagree with your saying that this is where there could be a pullback. I am saying that um, this is the wave count that I've got, the one on the inside. It's just more detailed, more thorough, and it actually does the same job. All right? So yours was not wrong. I'm saying that mine is a little bit more detailed, and I, I, I would go with the second one because it's very important to uh, have as many, uh, count as many peaks and troughs as you can. All right, so let me just go through this again. Easy to see. Yeah. See if I want to go short here. So here's a peak C1. Look, here's a peak C1 in the one minute chart. This is all this is all educational. In fact, it's educational. I should grab a short while I can. Ah, what can I do? I'm busy right at this moment. So I'm gonna go to this as blue. Yes. And I'm going to go to this as font. Yes. Now I can say to you, look, peak C1. Edit. This is C1, C2, C3, and I always put a plus sign above the C1 and C2 because it acts like a D. And now we could have a bit of a pullback. Now, what happens in this, you've got to be prepared where you can C1, C2, C3, <clears throat> that in fact you could make the top or it could even have another bounce to give you the D. So this is where it's a little tricky, but look, the nine period moving average went negative. So we're going to watch this closely, but you've got the other ones to look at. So I just wanted to show you a peak C1, C2, C3 live as we're moving along. Okay, next question came in. Could I look at, um, no, uh, uh, Dan, this is, a, I much prefer to do some education for, for people to do the Chapman Wave uh, than just to skip it and, and forget about it and try to do it another time, which I'll forget. Live is what I like to do, 
and uh, I hope that clarifies it for you. Next thing I want to look at is, um, so I haven't done this. I'm going to go to gold. Gold is pulling back a little bit. Gold is making a little doji candle at the high, all-time high, peak C. If there's no new recovery high today above the yesterday's high in the continuous contract of 2617.4, if it goes to 0.5, that, that today, or even goes to 0.4, it, it, this is still part of C. Oh, man, now I can't do it. I wanted to get this right. Oh, I was about to say, I, if I was doing this without being uh, doing two things at once, I would have wanted to at least have a short-term trade right here. There could be an Eiffel Tower peak A minus because it fails like yesterday. We had a number of those. We've seen them lately, and, and prices tend to repeat over and over again once they become a characteristic. All right, forget it. I didn't do it. I'm just going to sit back here and do what I was looking at. If today there's a peak C, maybe tomorrow intraday, maybe early in the morning and then nothing in the afternoon, or maybe it's the other way around, but there should be a leg D. Based on this te uh, technique, there should be a higher high uh, to make a leg D in the next couple of days. It is already a leg D in the weekly chart, and a leg, only a leg C in the monthly says the prices should go higher at some point uh, after a monthly, a full candle with a peak. All right, let's go to silver, silver continuous contract trading at peak C, uh, leg C, maybe a peak C, we don't know yet. But if there is a lower high today, you might get one little pop tomorrow. And this has got an inside wedge uh, resistance level to pierce. It really, silver at point, at 31.21 right now, needs to get to 0.78. May I prefer 32.05 to actually start trading back into the 32s, and that'll be a good thing. And the monthly chart says there should be a leg D at some point. Uh, it's, it might take a little time, but it should get to a leg D uh, into the 39s. All right, let's go to um, high grade copper. High grade copper is up today, up 0.01 at 4.28. Um, yeah, coming off this double bottom on the 200 period exponential moving average, that makes four absolutely imperative to hold in the next two weeks because for closes under that, <clears throat> that could get a little ugly. But in the meantime, it's holding okay, and the daily chart is just about to try for a leg C. Um, today's high is 4.30, and we'll see what happens. I've got a break coming up. The Dow's up 150, S&P's up 28. Basil Chapman, thank you for the Ignitions Hour. Be back in a moment. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom Daly as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns. 
and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi folks, so let me just do this right now. You see this 9 period moving average in the five minute chart. Um, as long as that's holding, that should be good. And it's the same thing in the 10. And if this is really a peak A, there should be a B and a C still to come and a D. Um, if it was a, if it was an Eiffel Tower failure going straight up and straight down, then it should uh, take out 57.20, and it should do that probably in the next 30 minutes or so. Okay, let's go back. I've got a bunch of questions. I'm going to have to stop all the other things. So the question here is a uh, VZ. Um, so Michael said, "Hi, Basil. Ver Verizon is a long-term core position of mine. What are the weekly and monthly charts telling you?" It looks like a breakout. It's got a nice dividend. Thank you very much, Michael. You did what I promised that I would do with Verizon. I never did it. I really I feel upset about it. We've had some others that have done fabulously. I'm not complaining about that. But I really discussed this as a dividend stock as well as um, one that's it, it was a mystery why in this age we should see uh, a dividend stock. Uh, sorry, uh, um, communication stock when people are cutting the cable, etc., doing so well. But I don't care what it is. It's doing very well. Look at the monthly charts in the leg C, trying to get to the 200-period moving average of 45.42. And where is it right now? It's at 44.42, a dollar lower. The uh, weekly chart, yeah, this could be a breakout to a new leg B, but it's over the 200-period moving average. The, the stochastic's only at 76. I'd like to see it get to 80%. That'll be a good sign. It hasn't done it yet, but still very good. It tells you that the daily chart at a leg E, maybe a peak E today, has 43 to 42.70 as very strong support. Um, and that's that's really important. Now, what's, what's also very important is that you've got something that should go if the monthly chart is correct. Oh, I can't believe it. I just... Went along, looked at a different chart, raised the stop too much, got stopped out, and now this darn thing's moving. Trying to do too many things at once. Well, that's the way it is. So, uh, Michael, I like what you've got. Um, all I can say is I wanted to open the weekly, open the weekly chart just to show you that there's this huge. It's almost like an inverted head and shoulders, but it's like a, a very lopsided cup formation lopsided in the sense that it's extended to the right a little too long the moment that this thing starts to trade on a weekly basis a weekly chart 
weekly basis into this ugly red candle of the 22nd of July, 22nd of Jul July 2022, um, which has a high of 51 and a low of 43. I'm just rounding it out. They went around numbers and can go into the middle of it, which is at um, 48. It's a different thing altogether because that's the candle that it's going to try to ap uh, approach the highs. So it's acting very well. As I say, you just got to be careful that if it, it, it might take time now because it's a little a little overbought. But the stochastic is flat at 97. That's what you want. That's great. And that just says uh, flat stochastic at 97. Um, unless it goes under 80 percent, this is good action. So I, li I like what you've got. Just hold tight, stay with it, don't do anything. Next question came in, can I look at Palantir, PLTR, PLTR. Yeah, this broke out, it gapped up, it's holding the gap, it's in leg E in the daily chart. This is what happens if, so I, I need to go through this. This is almost like technical Friday, but for those of you who use Chapman Wave, make a note of this. When you see a peak when, the, when there's a, a big move up that goes to a peak C and then there's a time and price pullback, when it goes to the next leg up and makes a peak, that invariably is a D. And that D, I, I would say, I don't, want to, I don't want to give it a number off the top of my head. I'm just doing it from the memory and the back of my mind here. But I'm going to say to you, a majority of the time, and when I say majority, I mean 75 to 85 percent. If it takes its time to get to that D, like this big cup formation, invariably becomes an instant restart, and immediately I consider that the next leg, E, should have E slash A. And there's a good chance that it's almost like a breakout to new highs, and it could go quite a bit higher. So this is very positive. Uh, Palantir at PLTR. 36.38, up 7 cents. Most importantly, I have this, look, in the weekly chart, they could even, <laughs> it's the same thing, peak C, and then a sharp pullback goes to a D, and it's a huge instant restart. So I am going to circle it. And I am going to say there's only one difference, is that this big long leg E um, could go to E, F, and then G, and G is where you've got to be careful. Monthly chart leg E. This is fabulous action. Here's another one that I said to subscribers we want to look at, to get into, but I, I didn't see it. I could have gotten to a safe area, yeah, but that gap up said, oh, wow, now what happens? Anyway, it's acting extremely well. Palantir says that the whole area, it's at 36 right now, but the whole area between 32 and 30, 30 and a half is major support if this does suddenly take a dive. All right, I hope that helps you. Um, PFE, PFE is, um, yeah, this is the one that I mentioned to subscribers. I liked it. I like the fact that it was running, but we have something in the, um, so uh, Pfizer is a big farmer. PFE trading at 29.88, up down 18 cents um, in legs as C right now in the daily chart, making a cup formation. I said I like this. I like it. Because it's an old school, it's just, I mean, Pfizer goes back decades and decades and decades. And it's just, they're getting things right, finally. So this is, un unlike uh, Walgreen, which has the same ugly pattern, this one is actually starting to build strength to the upside. I like it. It might take a little while longer, but I think it will take out peak C in the, in the weekly chart. That's at 3154, uh, May the 2nd of August. It will get there, but it might take a little time. Key support, if it if it gets stuck and it goes under 29 again, it's a 29.88. If it closes under 29, it could get stuck for a while. But I do think that this has potential to move higher. Um, I got, uh, got, let me just write down, did that, did that, did that. Oh, um, so a question came in. Did I just write that very badly? What was that? C L oh C F L T C F L T. I did write it very badly. I almost missed it. C F L T. We've discussed this at different times over the years, and then I just gave up on it. This is Confluent Inc. C F L T. So look at this. This is a little. Oh man, there's a break. These time sequences go a little too quickly here. So let's just go through. This is this is peak A, and then it's stalled. This is another peak A right here, A B. All right, I 
I, I think this one's doing okay at 20.90. Watch the um, 19.70 area. If it takes that out on the downside, that's a problem. It needs to get to 21.60. I'll be right back. Dow's up 190. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Products for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks, folks uh, just real quickly, remember I was about the C1, C2, C3, those, it just failed to make the Ds, and I count those as, as peaks, but they're under the P1. FXI just did that, and look what I, you remember what I said? that very often when you get a whole series of slightly lower highs, the price pulls back, but then it goes back to retest and actually does make the, the FXI could be doing that right now. That's the China large cap index. And the next question came in. So now I can't remember so what I did. I finish that uh, CFT, CFT, L, uh, oh, CFT what? CFLT, CFLT, let me just do this real quickly. Yeah, so this is trading, uh, as I said, it needs to hold, as we got uh, the break came up, uh, it needs to hold the 19, 1970. If it takes out 1970, that's a problem. It needs very quickly to get to 21.35 or higher, and that'll be a positive, and say it could try to get to the 22 level of the previous highs. Next question came in, TNA. So IWM, this is three times long. Oh, wait, TNA. Is that uh, TNA? Yeah, so TNA. I, this is really tough for my subscribers. I want you to add to our IWM position with the TNA. And it just, 
because of the volatility, I didn't want to be involved with this because it, it, we were bumping up against that resistance. Now we're above the resistance. But you got the Fed speak tomorrow. I, I can't in all good conscience say to you, yeah, this is the time to grab it. Um, but if you are able to control your risk, buying it right here at 220.91, if you're able to put in a stop of give it three points, I'd actually give it two points. It's either going to work or it's not. Then you can give it two points. I'll do more on it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, this is looking like it wants to go towards the 225 area, but uh, in the uh, uh, IW app. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Stay tuned for Steve. I'll be back with Tom later on. And check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter. See you later.